Hello guys and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duel video. So today we got the Akuma banner and this video is all about the summoning. I'm gonna show you the summonings that we had. I did over 2000 summons. Uh, I got some videos from the summons that I did. I didn't use them all just to show you how it goes. So this is basically how the accounts go. So here on this account I managed to pull one Akuma summon, one Akuma copy. So uh, basically most of my my summons I did like uh, almost 50 accounts like I did 40 then I did 50 because I saw many people getting two and three akumas and somebody got a quadruple so on this account is like one of the common accounts that I had which is the majority of the accounts I got one copy of akuma as you saw and now this is uh, the continuation actually of this uh, summons. I did the singles again, so I go, went back and bought the singles, so I didn't skip anything. And uh, basically this is the rates that you get from the 2% that you get from a, a Kuma banner. So you'll be summoning, uh, and if you're lucky you'll get more than one copy. But basically this is how it goes. And uh, it was like 40 accounts that I had this, and uh, 6 accounts. I got nothing, uh, two accounts I got, uh, or three accounts I got like uh, one, uh, two copies, and only one account uh, on one server I got triple, and it's not triple in one temple, it's in in a, in a multiple in a temple. So here is another copy. This is a basic one of any account. This is how the accounts usually go. You get one copy and that's it. That's the the basic rates as you can say. So if it's 2%, it means every 100 pulls, you will get one. Uh, you will get two. I don't remember actually the calculations, but uh, that's how. Every, every 10, 10 pulls, you should get two if it's 2%. So every five, you get one. So every 50 multis, you get one. And uh, yeah, I tried it. I grinded so many accounts because of the rerolls. And uh, after completing chapter three, uh, chapter two, so 228 you finish it you clear it you can uh, you can go and uh, and pull for uh, akuma and uh, it's always even if you didn't log in for seven days you can go to his uh, event and just pick up the seven the 50 cards uh, you keep sharing and you can uh, you're gonna get the cards so uh, yeah i kept pulling until i got this and i think i think this is the account with the double yeah so yeah even the double i never had a double in a temple the doubles that i got were separate on temples and you will see an account now that i've been uh, uh i'm uh, i was pulling singles this is the double yeah this is two and uh i didn't do yet on my main account uh within this video as i'm talking i'm gonna go show showcase akuma and tell you about him I'm gonna be dropping a tier list after this video. Uh, I got so many questions from uh, my friends and everybody in the Discord telling me like, yeah, we're waiting, what's your thoughts on Akuma? What's your thoughts on the tier list in general? I'm gonna be talking about uh, tier list and I'll explain furthermore when I get there, but it will be combined as PVP, bossing and PVE content. So uh, this is the account, and this is the third, the, the last account, the third, uh, the three copies account. Or this is the singles. I think this one is the singles. So yeah, I did many, many attempts on many accounts, just singles. I didn't do 10, ten uh, temple, just to check if it's like it matters it's different because uh, somehow for divination if we do buy gems not tickets buy gems if you do like singles the rates are better maybe we're lucky maybe we got lucky when we did that yeah and here one by one i try to pick them up the resources are good just like divination it's not something different or magnificent like you don't have the more uh per hour or, or better resources it's just copy paste of this divination but this has akuma and it's more expensive so you can say for three cards in the shop it's for three thousand diamonds yeah so one card is basically uh, a one thousand diamond for the exclusive summons meanwhile for the 
for the divination, uh, one pool is 500, so it's half the cost. So if you look at it in a, in a calculation, like in, in way of diamonds, yeah, this is expensive, and this is why he's exclusive. And I'll be talking about Akuma later. I will explain now after after I show you these pulls. Uh, he's actually one of the, the good units. He's very hyped. He's very good. He's uh, basically where he shine is two things: PvP and bossing. This guy deals a impossible damage to bosses, and in PvP he can one shot literally anyone, uh, especially with his C2 for backlines. It's pretty good, solid, pretty top tier, solid unit. You can use him in stages in in uh, in PvP, PvP, PvE. But the problem with him is now we have only one interrupter, and that's Bizangib, and he uses his C2. And the best best uh, attack for Akuma is is his C2. So this is where the downfall is. So in in PvE. I tried him early, of course I couldn't get him to triple S to try him in different modes. Yeah, he's he's not a top tier class for PvE. Still the PvE king is Guile, the PvE queen is Viper, and, uh, and, and, and Fashion Blanca. These are the best top units for that. Uh, he shines for bossing and PvP strictly. And uh, this account now, this is the third, the, the, I think it was the, my, my 48th attempt on accounts. That was the three, the three uh, copies of Akuma. You show, I'll show you them here. Yeah, I was like, oh, it happened. It can happen. It took, so, took me, <laughs> it took me like 40 something accounts to acquire him three times as free to play, of course. Uh, and it's hard, it's not that easy to obtain him. So yeah, this is the first copy, second multi nothing, third multi you got him. Again, he is second. I was hoping for a third, uh, because I had him twice, many, many times, and he is the third. It was hype, it was amazing. And I'll show you the three copies in the box. And... Uh, We'll go further and uh, talk about Akuma a little bit. I'll describe you for him, describe him for you guys. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. So, Akuma, the raging demon, as we know him. So, what is he about? What's his skills? Where we could use him? Where does he shine? Where does he not shine? Basically, he shines everywhere, but uh, there's specific positions and places that you need him and use him more. So let's talk about his skills. First of all, I'm sorry for butchering any of his skills, but I'll try my best not to. So, Gosho Ryuken. Gosho Ryuken. Okay, this is his super. It will change. The name will change because he changed. Just like Gen, he changes and flips his styles and his abilities uh, upon using them the first time, second time, and third time. So first of all, his this is his his super combo so strikes the nearest enemy three times with it with a charge so you can dealing damage equal to 695 percent of attack and increase his lifesteal to 20 percent that's very important lifesteal is something that we lack in this content in this game and he have it by passive because when he uses it the first time he increases it for 20 percent and it doesn't say till when it means to the end of the battle and maybe if he use it again not the second time, but the third time, he will increase it to 40%. So this is something that you need to take in consideration. The damage increase to 799 means 100. He gains Conqueror. He gains a stack of Conqueror upon the use. And if there are already three stacks of Conqueror, he gains one extreme stack instead. So three, three stacks of Conqueror is the max when you get this super going. So Conqueror, increase the, the damage of the combo to to 40% and it stacks up to three times. Three, three conquerors stacks three times, that's 120% of the output of damage of C2. We'll speak about C2 and you'll see what damage I'm talking about. 120% of 1,200% to 100% of attack. It means a one shot no matter what unit is there in the back line. If it's for bosses, he will be the top damage on charts. No one else have the damage that he can do. 
even Trendy Cami can't race with him, no Fashion Blanca, nobody else. He's made basically for bosses in PvP. So, Extreme, the ultimate Budo accumulates power to unleash Chenchon Goku Satsu, stacks up three times. Now we'll talk about talk about this extreme and and uh, conquer when they switch and how you lose the stacks and how you switch by them. It's very good manipulation. Manipulation. So his second his C one combo is uh, the Hadoken, the Shokunetsu Hadoken. So he unleashes a fire. I don't know how to 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 kiko kikoken. Okay. At the nearest target for a heavy hit, dealing flame damage equal to 327% of attack with a 100% base chance base chance to inflict one stack of burn. So he will inflict burn on his C1 100%. So after include okay, when you level him, he will get conquer when he uses this skill and gain 20% increase in flame soul damage. This is for 15 seconds, it will fade away, but 15 seconds is a big window, so you can complete your combo if your gouge is full, because we'll, 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 we'll talk about how the gouge will be full because of his uh, exclusive item. When you, his, uh, when you unlock it to level 30, he will just fill your gouge, not 30 even, on early. So burn, we know what's burn, and conquer, we talked about it. His passive, this is very good. So, increases the damage dealt by 0.3% and the damage received will be... He'll take less damage and more damage and, and deal more damage. By 0.3% it will increase to 0.5% for 1 HP loss. So, if he loses 100% of his HP and it's 0.5, that will mean 50% more... Less damage he'll take, more damage he'll do. It means if you, you want him between the 50% and 75%, on 50% Wow, it's raining outside. So, on 50% of his HP, he'll deal 25% more damage and take 25% less damage. You need to to put that in your mind. He gains one stack of ex extreme and one stack of uh, conquer upon defeating an enemy. And when your teammate also dies, he gained them. So, this is basically what when you level him up. And increase the damage to 0.5. That's what we said. So extreme, the ultimate Budo accumulates power to unleash Chinchon Goku Setsu stacks up to three times. And this is the most that it can stack for. And I don't think that this stack will fade away. What will fade away? So this stack of extreme will stay, but conquer will fade away. But when it fades away, it's good. So you you'll understand now when we talk about his C2, which is his everything, the raging demon. So instantly strike an enemy, anchor, it means the last unit on the enemy's line, seven times, dealing flame damage equal to 715 of its attack. It means seven times, 715. So every one attack is 103%, maybe attack. It means in total 715. With a 50% base chance, which will go to 100%, to inflict burn, unleashing... Uh, after unleashing, gains one extreme and lose all stacks of conquer. And now we'll talk why he lose them and how it will affect him in a positive way. If three extreme are active, still changes to Chinchon Gokusetsu on its next use. So next use it will be Chinchon Gokus Gokusetsu. And we'll talk about this. So Chinchon Gokusetsu uses all extreme stacks to strike the enemy anchor fighter for seven times dealing soul damage and soul damage is true damage it means there is no evade dodge whatever for this one equal 1105 percent of attack with a 50 percent base chance to inflict weaken no conquer stacks will be consumed while using this so the first time you will use your stacks the second time when you're building your stacks he'll be using this Chinchon Gokusetsu instead of the Raging Demon and it will not remove any stacks. So the third time you'll, you'll use Raging Demon and it will keep the Conquer stack and it will uh, it, on the third one it will consume the Conquer the conquer stacks and it will deal more damage and rinse and repeat the whole scenario. Just like Gen going from Mantis style to the to the other Wind style I forgot what the, what the name it was. 
So increased raging demons basically inflicting burn respectively to 100%. We talked about this. Increases raging demon damage uh, to 786%. That's the first one here from 715. And the second one, 1105 to 1271%. So conquer, what does conquer do? We said conquer increase the combo two and trigger skill damage by 40% up to three times. So three stacks of conquer that 120% times 1,271%, what unit will last? What unit will survive SC2 from our Raging Demon? No one. That's where, where he shines. And Extreme, the ultimate Budo accumulates power to unleash Chinchon, Goku, Setsu, stacks up to three times, we talked about this. So these are his skills. Now, what about his Beads of Slaughter? Okay, his exclusive is, is very good. It's one of the top tier. So, when Conquer is active, normal attacks becomes Ashura Senku, which deal 50% more damage and fill Super Combo Gouge by 50%. This is by 50 points. This is epic. This is the best, probably the best exclusive in the game. So, imagine you're just dealing 50% more damage and filling your Combo Gouge just by auto attacking. So his assist is also, <laughs> it's out of, out of this world. So effective when a fighter is in assist position, of course, he summons the fireball. So I'll explain it in, in, in normal words. So when, let's say we link him with an assist position with Dalsim, when Dalsim uses his combo, uses his say super, he unleashes a fireball, which deals flame damage uh, equal to 50% off uh, Akuma's damage okay in an interval of five seconds what do they mean in an interval of five seconds so many people were asking me about this because they got confused in an interval of five seconds it means when you have your shoot super combo gouge filled x3 times or x2 times if you click Dalsim let's say super first time Akuma will do his fireball with him and inflict that damage if you press it again within the five seconds after if that five seconds didn't end then it will not unleash a fireball again so you need to you need to do the combo press a c1 of somebody c2 and rip and after five seconds have passed you repeat it so he unleashes another fireball so pay attention for that it's not a glitch or it's not working when you built it up you need to just calculate the timing so at plus 10 when the enemy is affected by burn chinchon chinchon goku setsu Damage is increased by 20% when the enemy is affected by weaken. Shinshu Gokusatsu, damage increased by 20% when it's affected by burn. So, if you ha if they have burn and weaken on them, which will they have? If you learn a lineup like uh, Bison, Ken, Dalsim, and uh, Beast, this this lineup like I just put it in my mind because it it deals a lot of stuff that it's needed there it applies weaken and burn and this is how you capitalize on them when you when you use them with akuma and stuff or you put akuma if you don't want to put the uh, akuma in an ss position you can put him instead of dalsim and uh, you can play him so akuma uh ken and bison or other units you can use jury they apply weaken and he applies burn then he does more damage so this is very good especially when he gains extreme and gains conquer so akuma becomes an ashura and now we'll explain what's in ashura after using chinchum gokusetsu when in ashura form akuma unleashes shakunetsu hadouken after the enemy unleashes a combo or super combo it will count as a trigger skill and deal 25 percent more damage though it will not grant conquer okay so what we talked about his skill, the Shakunetsu Hadouken, it's the C1. So he will unleash, unleash it passively when the enemy starts their combo. But it has an interval, I, I, I think so. Let, let, let me check. No, it doesn't have an interval. So every time they... We, we, we need to test this because they didn't write it or it's missing text or it's l just like this whenever they unleash a combo he just go and and, and and unleashes a c1 but it will not affect his conqueror stacks 
okay it will not give him more conquer stacks so ashura form expire after uh, shakunetsu hadouken is triggered three times so after it three times he triggers it he's a counter he's a pvp counter he triggers it three times then it expires so when they're dealing combo they're super then they're c1 then they're c2 this is three on the c3 on their c3 he will not unleash it he will lose it and after it's it's interval is four seconds so after they finish and they want to start again probably you'll have it again uh trigger an interval of four seconds okay four seconds so every four seconds he can do his hadouken but after 20 seconds uh he resets and he can use it again up to three times now his garage and his cars this is very good this is one of the best cars utilities to any fighter that needs it so he gains three extremes upon entering the battle from the start of the battle this is broken <laughs> no this is broken so you don't need to build build him up or hype him up or start anything from the start of the battle he gains the stacks he won goes and one shot people and kills everybody and six cards after unleashing Shinshon Goku Setsu receives one stack of extreme for every current stack of conquer so if you have three stacks of conquer you're gonna get three stacks of extreme this is very very broken he's one of the top tier class units in the game bossing pvp can be used pve not where he shines but he could use it could be used but the downfall is b zangief uses his c2 and he uses his, BC, his c2 and we need b zangief for stuns because we don't have anybody else to give the st stable stun that he gives yeah and that's all that's his, that's akuma for you guys I hope you liked it. This is a random account that I pulled Akuma on him. Uh, this guy is amazing. He's just one of the scariest units to fight against. Not everybody will have him. If you have him, good job. If you were lucky to pull him. Uh, amazing unit. Scary unit. He's a carry. He's a damage dealer. He's a boss killer. He's a PvP strict unit. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, like and subscribe if you didn't i thank you for watching anything you need write in the comment below and uh, you can find us on discord on the sfd uh, official discord thank you for watching and as always stay frosty peace